Hey, Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Taurus for the month of November 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgos coming in with the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Definitely somebody here who's playing a lot of games, mind games for that matter, and a lot of games for that matter, with the Ace of Cups, the Magician, and the Five of Swords. It's like you guys have a karmic in the situation between you, your you, Taurus, and a karmic is how I'm seeing this. And maybe this karmic does spell work. Maybe this karmic is very selfish and they're manipulative and they're going to do whatever they have to do to keep Taurus where they're at. You know what I mean? Because they see you. They see you as the empress, the six of wands. Like you're winning at life. You get all the attention. Everything is working amazing for you. Things are picking up. You're moving. You're traveling. You're doing your thing. <laughs> but whoever this karmic is, she's not very happy about it. And it seems like this Taurus or the karmic for that okay <laughs> they continue to do spell work with the magician to the ace of cups to the five of swords like they you cannot have the taurus because the taurus belongs to them like this is a karmic who's definitely stepping into your relationship and they don't want you to be with them some of you guys might be married to your taurus some of you guys are legit in a whole full-out relationship with them and then this karmic is coming in they're like no i don't want you to have them because i'm gonna do what i have to do this person definitely maybe does uh, spell work, love spells, or whatever the case is, but it's like a lot of mind games, a lot of manipulation, and whatever the fuck what. They think that they're going to be able to get it, get, get, they think that they're going to be able to win or defeat you, but they cannot defeat you because they're dealing with a divine feminine or divine masculine. So the karmic is going to have a hard lesson that they're going to end up having to learn. Eight of swords, they're going to be in their thoughts a lot. They're going to be blocked as well. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Like, I think more so of the fact that this person thinks that you don't know that it's them that's doing this, but they most definitely know. Uh, and you guys are staying grounded about it. Like, you're not trying to indulge or anything like that. Some of you guys might go and, go and talk to your Taurus, all right? You guys want to speak the truth to your Taurus. Some of you guys are really in your head a whole lot, too overthinking a lot not knowing what to do not knowing who to choose i mean you got an empress and you got a karmic here and you got or an emperor and you got a karmic here at the end of the day and you're gonna have to sit there and make the make the decision uh and you're gonna cut somebody off somebody here is about to cut off a taurus or vice versa and you're gonna do that because of the fact that this queen of wands in reverse who's doing spell work on you is going to fuck you up so badly with the eight of swords that you're genuinely going to cut somebody off who had nothing but good intentions. If you notice that you're in your head a lot and you can't make a decision for the life of you and you know, you're being manipulated by spell work or whatever and then all of a sudden you cut off your Taurus or Taurus cuts off Virgo, please understand that has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with spell work, and the spell work is fucking you up. So please, when you're deciding to cut off this Queen of Pentacles, make sure that you're making the right decision because that magic is hitting you pretty hard, and it doesn't look like you know how to get out of it. And it's not that hard, but, I mean, whatever was going on with you, you don't know how to get out of it. So it's time for you to learn how to figure that out. Uh, the chariot card. This person wants, so Taurus wants to come towards you guys very, very fast, all right? They want to take charge. They want to come back towards you. But the connection could potentially honestly be done and over with. Like, whatever the fuck you did up there, there may not be coming back from this. Like, yeah, they're going to miss you, but they'll miss you at a distance. Somebody here is going to cut you off for whatever the fuck you put them in. He put them in some sort of three-party situation. They're not having it at all. Like, this Virgo here could potentially just be moving on and letting, like, literally leaving the past behind. Like, simply saying, fuck that. We did our six years. We did our six months six weeks whatever the fuck what and it was it was a hell of a ride but they're choosing to walk away and they're gonna you guys are gonna be very imbalanced you're gonna be very upset two of pentacles five of cups temperance card they're gonna need a lot of healing when they come to the realization that you're honestly leaving and you may potentially not end up actually coming back uh the whole point of this queen of swords to the queen of pentacles is like this queen of wands here wants to make sure that you literally cut off this taurus they want you to do it so whatever's going on here sorry karmic i'm not trying to to you know what i'm saying but you showed up in the reading i there's nothing there's not much i can do so don't come for me, okay? Just know that your magic is working. You're very powerful. But unfortunately, y nobody wins in a situation like this. Like, you're going to eventually walk away too. Like, you, Karmic, please, I want you to know, understand Karmic yourself too, you know? In order for you to be upright, you have to love yourself too. You might as well take all those love spells that you're doing and put it into yourself, Queen of Wands. Do it, do it to yourself. Like, put the love into yourself, 
So that way you can attract the person who actually wants you and wants to be with you. And I'm very sorry that you feel the way that you feel too because it's so unfair that this person put you in a position to make you go out of your way to do this type of shit, you know? Listen, we're all souls out here. Everybody has their own ways of how they choose to handle situations. But if, you know, I feel bad too for the karmics as well because the karmic wouldn't have been involved unless somebody invited them in. So you got to look at it like that. If it was one person, okay, and the karmic, okay, and the karma got left behind to go be with this next person, and the karmic is still lingering around because the connection between him, this person and the karmic is not done yet, whose fault is that to blame except the one who decided to open the door on them, okay? So it's them. So everybody needs love and kindness and care. So always be patient and kind to everybody, no matter what they choose to do up there. Uh, but remember, it's not going to take you as far as you think it's going to take you. So you might as well just cut your loss and take an L for it, five of cups. Uh, this person has been reflecting a lot. Your Taurus or your Virgo has been reflecting a lot on wanting to come towards you guys and heal the connection. They feel really sad. They feel really abandoned. They feel like they have to protect themselves. And they're trying to find a way to protect you too, Empress or Emperor. But you guys are divine feminine, divine masculine. You guys are meant to be actually together with each other. But unfortunately, there is a karmic in the situation who's trying to take that away from you guys. Um, but nonetheless, Virgos, it's really fucked up because you guys both feel really lonely about it. Everyone feels fucked up. And there's a lot of competition, a lot of bullshit, a lot of stagnation, a lot of lies, and a lot of stress in it. And it doesn't make you feel happy. But I do believe that in the long run, you guys are going to be able to overcome this whole entire situation. And you'll be able to have your family back, Ten of Cups, Sun card, Two of Cups. So you guys are going to end up sitting down with between you and your soulmate, which is you and Virgo, okay? And you guys will be able to find a way to make the connection work. Ten of Cups, Sun card, you guys can focus on your relationship. You can focus on your happiness, really be with each other. You're not going to entertain this energy here anymore and you're going to most likely focus on yourself so whatever this person here is up here doing onto you guys virgos you guys are just going to ignore it and let it happen like if this is what they choose to do let them do what they want to do is what you guys are going to say you're going to close that door on it literally close the door on it leave them out in the cold five of pentacles and they can deal with their own lies seven of swords and then they're going to end up having a lot of struggles and problems and stress knowing that they lost you and that remember what i said when a connection is divinely protected no magic, no bruja, no nothing is going to be able to affect it. Yeah, it will cause them instability and some bullshit, but when you are genuinely, divinely guided and protected in a situation like this, especially when it comes to soulmates and two people that are meant to be with each other, nothing can take that away from you. Two of Cups, Sun card, Ten of Cups. All right, Virgos, good. Now, for, the, for some of you guys, your Taurus has been thinking a lot about you and they want to come back for you, but they carry a lot of secrets and a lot of lies. You guys, Virgos, come in as the high priest. I mean, wow. So, oh my God, that was supposed to be the moon card. So you guys are coming in as the queen of, pen, queen of cups to the moon card. So a lot of you guys are going to use your intuition. You guys have gone through a lot of darkness, but you having to you having to listen to your intuition now. If it's something that doesn't feel right, you're going to let it go and move on. But you guys carry so much strength and so much power because you guys are so connected to God and it's very you guys are very beautiful. So they see you as somebody who's very emotionally balanced, very beautiful, very strong. They see that you're very much so um, interconnected with God, with the angels, with divination. And this person is really interested in that, right? And they want to be able to come back here and give to you or give to you for that matter and maybe even get married in the future. So do expect that to come in for you guys. This person wants to heal the relationship with you. Some of you guys may be going on a vacation with each other, like honeymoon phase is how I'm seeing this. But it's going to be very, very passionate. A lot of you guys are going to be sleeping with each other and you guys are going to be like all happy about it and whatever the case is so this will be able to bring healing energy for a lot of you guys you guys are really sad and disappointed with the things that had happened in the past but it looks like this person wants to come back and fight for the connection whatever had happened back then this should have to happen so that way you can see what is yet to come with the ace of pentacles so this person is willing to put in the effort and the work so whatever the fuck happened in the past here which is with all this going on this had to come in so that way you guys would be able to actually start your foundation on something that's so much more cleaner, so much more powerful, so much more stable. Ace of, Pen Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and you guys go to the Nine. You guys have gone through a lot, especially with this karmic being involved too. Like they really triggered a lot of crap in you guys' connection here, right? And it caused a lot of problems and heartache, especially with the betrayal and the and the backstab and the pain. Um, 
but they're going to get their karma, unfortunately. But fortunately, they will get their karma, so that way they can learn to stop doing these things to people. Um, but nonetheless, eight, ten of wands, they are going to be stressed. They're going to be confused. A lot of you guys may be having dreams, a whole lot of dreams. <clears throat> so pay attention to your dream state. Uh, and you guys are just going to be feeling very stressed. And maybe you guys are honestly going to be able to manifest through dreams or do manifestations through your through, through your meditation but you guys are connected to the divination here so whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest through meditation or through yoga it looks like your manifestations are going to be coming to prosper there was a lot of toxic energy between the two of you guys but you guys are going to be okay with the four of wands all right virgos you guys can continue to move forward in the relationship that you have that will is coming in this person is going to be very loving and loyal to you and they're ready to come in and work on that relationship so this person's coming in for the communication they're going to be strong they're going to express to you some of you guys are not putting too much energy into it knowing what had happened before for some of you guys this is might be a different energy for a lot of you guys so maybe the energy got cut off and we're on something else now uh but nonetheless it looks like taurus is coming in to communicate with you they want to talk to you they want to let you know how they feel about you they've been thinking about you a lot they want to work on this relationship they actually have a lot of love for you too because they see you as someone who's very uh, successful someone who's very single who's very private as well like you're not a rat gal or a rat boy you know what i mean like you guys are really the type of people that you hustle you do your thing you don't really talk to a whole lot of people like your circle's pretty small so it's like you say something to somebody you'll know exactly where that information came from you know what i mean uh hangman but nonetheless maybe the connection was very sa stagnated you know but you have to make the sacrifices in order for it to work with the justice card because there's a lot of pain here and things may have came to a complete ending but your Taurus is going to try and find a way to come back and they want to be all playful with you and take that more sweeter and softer approach when they come back for you. But intuitively, you're good on your own. And a lot of you guys are not even going to probably waste your time with this second energy here. And you're simply going to move on to your future because your intuition and your guides and your angels are letting you know that, hey, you have everything in the world that you have here with the Nine of Cups. And your intuition is saying like, hey, should I just move on? right? Because in order for this energy to be gone with the Ten of Swords and to bring balance, are they going to be able to be the man that you need them to be? Intuitively, there's nothing that this person is going to be able to say to you that you already, that you will already know. You will already know everything ahead of time. So whatever they try and come towards you with, with the King of Wands to the King of Pentacles, to the full card, you're already going to know what the right thing for you to be doing is. And a lot of you guys may just simply put all the energy into yourself. So even if they do come in with an offer, you may simply reject them, Two of Wands. That could potentially be a no, but more so a maybe too. But it definitely looks like you guys are ready to move on and go to something else. Thanks, cuties. Bye.